Let's take a look at a new feature enhancement that's been added to the firmware of the MSO 4, 5, and 6 series oscilloscopes from Tektronix. That feature is the ability to perform RF versus time triggering on waveforms generated in spectrum view. So for the example in this video, we're going to focus on this clock signal up on screen. This clock is dithering about in the trigger because it happens to be a spread spectrum clock. To get a look at the frequency content of this clock, we can go to the channel badge and turn on spectrum view. Now within the spectrum badge that shows up in the bottom of the display, we can see that the center frequency of this clock is right around 98 MHz and that it's got a spread spectrum quality that's approximately 3 or 4 MHz wide. If I go back into the channel badge settings and go back into spectrum view, I can turn on the frequency deviation versus time waveform. And now when I take a step back to look at the entire acquisition, I can see the up-down chirp pattern that is occurring with the spread spectrum clock. The frequency deviation versus time waveform is dithering about on screen because currently the trigger settings are applied to the time domain waveform. Now with the latest firmware release that we have for these new oscilloscopes, we've added the ability to change the source of our triggers into a frequency versus time trigger. So if I select this, now you'll see that my trigger is locked onto the frequency deviation versus time waveform. And I can change the level in frequency to trigger on the upper side of this chirp or the lower side. And I can flip the slope to trigger either on the rising or the falling edge of the slope. So this is another application area where customers will be able to benefit from just a simple firmware update, getting the advanced capabilities of triggering on RF versus time waveforms generated through SpectrumView.